Hi viewers, welcome to the Nisk YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create radial grids in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create radial grids. So go to application and components by using the shortcut Control F, or you can click on here. In search bar, type radial. You can see you can find out radial grid component at here so select this component and close this window and zoom it and pick the position to create the radial grid like this right click on us interrupt we don't require any horizontal vertical grid so select this grid and right click on mouse delete and click on delete you can see now we have only radial grids like this now click on space now to get the top view Use the shortcut Control P. You can see now we have the top view like this. These grids are by default grids. Now we're going to edit these grids as per our requirement. So double click on these grids. You can see you'll get find out this window. This x direction, these values indicates the x direction grids. For example, you can see in the label x we have one, two, three, four, five grids. So it indicates this this acceleration grids are one and these completely this two grid and this completely three grid fourth and this one is the fifth grid you can see this grid you can edit this grid as we require for example you can see these coordinates is the values so for example take zero and give space uh, let's take 10 feet spacing and give space let's take 30 feet spacing and give space and let's take 20 10 10 feet and give space and 20 feet then click on modify to update this grid like this you can see now this zero indicates the first grid at at this coordinate and the second grid 10 feet means this for the spacing should be 10 feet and this spacing should be 30 feet according to here and this spacing should be 10 feet according to this option and this spacing should be 20 feet according to this value according to that you can change this spacing base spacing according to your requirement from this option let's take one more base spacing 10 feet and click on modify to see the changes like this okay now coming to this label value you can see color grid value we have one two three four five and here we have x6 you can see this label uh, you can control from here you can see under the label x direction we have one two three four five but we don't have any value at this location so give space and enter the six name name it as a six grid then click on modify to update the value like this six Now coming to the y direction grids, you can see now we have here degrees. Now coming to here the labels we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, like that. Now coming to here you can see A. This entire horizontal grid is the A grid, and this one is the entire. This is a B, and this grid is C, and these are inclined grids are y direction grids. For example, you can see we are going to take from zero first grid at this one is a zero and this spacing second grid we're going to take 20 feet and give 10 10 degree and give 30 degree and give 10 and let's take 20 degree then click on modify you can see now zero indicates this grid oh, from the x direction x grid is the zero so now coming to this B grid angle between these two grids should be 20 degree now coming to here is the 10 according to this value and coming to this grid is the 30 degrees according to this value and this grid spacing is the grid angle is the 10 degrees and now coming to this grid angle should be 20 20 degree according to this value now coming to this label name you can see we have a b c d E, F. You can see in the y, y direction we have A, B, C, D, E, F up to F. We don't have any more grids 
in this direction so we don't require any g h j label values so just remove these names up to f okay now click on modify to update it yeah that's it now coming to this elevation elevation means the height and the level of this ground floor first floor second floor like that for example we're going to take first ground floor at zero and first floor we're going to take 10 feet and give space and let's take the second floor 20 feet and give space and third floor 30 feet now coming to the z direction under the label we need to add, name it here the level of this floors you can see come here ground floor at plus zero level and the first floor we're going to take plus 20 feet and give space and let's take the first floor 10 feet and second floor we're going to take plus 20 feet and third floor plus 30 feet like that you should remember that uh, the spacing should be between the two values then click on modify to update the values modify apply okay now we need to fit this work area uh, according to this grids so click on space right click on mouse fit work area to entire model like this you can see now these are the radial grids like this to view the elevations now go to view click on this new view and using two points click on it and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here to see the elevations like this right click on mouse interrupt and to get the elevation view use the shortcut control p like this perfectly now double click on this grid you can see this plus zero indicates here you can see plus zero and first floor is the plus 10 feet and second floor is the plus 20 feet third floor is the plus 30 feet like that you can name it the label names grid names and the values you need to enter here in under coordinates values under labels you need to give the names names of the grids okay that's it then click on modify apply okay now go to window and select this 3d to get the 3d view use the shortcut click on space use the shortcut control p to get the 3d view and to get the plane use the shortcut control p you can sh shift this one and you can use the under views you can use this option also switch to 3d or plane click on here like this otherwise if you don't remember this option you can use remember the shortcut control p like this okay that's it about how to create radial grids in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tackle structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when upload a new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you